Remember, maybe she has it in her mind that she's just wasting her time. Love her today and find a hundred ways.
but beautiful. That would be but beautiful. That would be but beautiful.
Mr. Reggie Jackson. You're the man, you're the man, you're the man. Yeah. You know, the organ trio became popular because of a man named Jimmy Smith. Yes, sir. But it actually was popular even before then when the organ players were playing with bass pedals. And so, like, you had uh, earlier uh, musicians like Mel Buckner and Wild Bill Davis. But the key to the organ trio is, unlike a piano trio, you have actually four pieces in a trio, right? Yeah, bass. You got bass, right? Yeah. Right, so I'm playing the bass and I'm playing chords and leads, and then we have guitar. So Derek and I help each other in filling in the harmony around each other. So when he's soloing, I'm his comp, and when I'm soloing, he's comping. But then it's all glued together by the drummer. You see? So they actually say that the organ trio is the hardest working trio of all of the jazz trios. And I like to push all the buttons. Or pull out all the stops. Yeah. So, you know, Wes Montgomery, uh, he was from around, around these parts, huh? Wes Montgomery, Wes. As a matter of fact, I believe I met his son once. Here. Yeah, Robert. Robert Montgomery, yes. It was a really interesting evening because I was playing with Pat Martino and Harvey Mason. And he came in and we were here together. So it's a spiritual place, this yeah. city. And uh, actually, I knew the, the, the late, great Mel Ryan as well. Great organ player. So there's a big organ tradition here in Indy, just like there is in my home city of Columbus. But the uh, West Montgomery recorded this song called Road Song. Yeah, yeah I love it. And what happened was, is he recorded it twice during this particular period uh, that Rudy Van Gelder was the engineer recording for Blue Note Records. And one version was called Road Song, where Wes Montgomery was featuring on his album with a big band. But then they went into the studio with Jimmy Smith and Grady Tate and recorded a version that they titled O.G.T. So, Peter, you're not allowed to give it away, but maybe some of you all might be able to tell me what you think OGT stands for. It's very, oh gosh darn, that's pretty close. That's what Fareed Hoth thought. Fareed. Organ, guitar, drums. Yeah! So, the last song we featured Reggie, and he tore it up. So this one we're gonna feature Derek Desenzo on the West Montgomery version of OGD, The Road Song. Thank you. 
Chillin' got rhythm. God bless you all. Hope you all have a yeah. good night. Thank you. Love you.
In a country far, far away. So hope you all enjoy it.
give it a little bit to Reggie. Yeah. Take us out, take us home, Reggie. Once again, thank you so much. Till next time, love hard as you can, hate a little less, and we'll give us so deep for the world of joy. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know the Disney thing? You guys are welcome to whistle too, you know. All right. So we're going to take it up. One, two, F. <laughs>
Jackson. Reggie! Yeah, my man! Nice, nice. You know, Columbus, Ohio was famous for an organ player named Don Patterson. Oh, yeah. yeah right? Yeah. So we're going to do a little Don Patterson tonight. Woo! All right. We're going to change the set. Last set, we did, dedicated a lot of things towards my mentor, uh, Jimmy Smith. But I, as I age like fine wine, your taste changed. Has anybody noticed that? And I like the, where did I get the shirt? From Shirtsville. Guess where I got my pants? Pantsville. Pennsylvania. Yeah. So, <laughs> so this is a song called These Soulful Days.
Conclusion. I'm so excited about this, you see. That I think when we were created, like, you know when a bride and groom comes out of the church, everybody throws bird seeds? I think when we were created, God did the same thing with us. He went, Psh! and he sprinkled a unique set of talents on each and every one of us so that no two people are alike. So I found that instead of trying to make all the students do the same, I try to find out the strengths of each student and let them try to develop the best of them. And I found with that that instead of wasting our time trying to compare ourselves to others, maybe it's better to try to find the talents that we have that are unique and developed. Right? Yes. So then you take people like us three on the stage and you just say, okay. We get to do the best we can do. Right? Yeah. 
So let's play a fast one, guys. Let's just do it, all right? So rhythm changes. Anybody ever heard of rhythm changes? Not the Catholic Church method of birth control. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They say, every time I say that, they say, it doesn't work. <laughs> well, it's fun trying. <laughs> so I wrote this song called uh, Ali Olio. Does anybody know what Ali Olio means? It's pasta with garlic and olive oil. Because one of the first jazz standards that became famous using these rhythm changes, it's to the song I Got Rhythm, I Got Rhythm. And it was called Olio. Right? So I figured since I'm Italian, I'll make one called Ali Olio. So here we go, Ali Olio. You ready, guys? Let's see if we can rip it up somehow. Not too fast. That's just a joke.
Reggie. Feel like mainline just shot right in your vein.